Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we are gonna make a Dr. Pepper milkshake, and we're gonna do it in this live broadcast. You guys are gonna help me out. I'm gonna wait a little bit, let some people join in. But in the meantime, hello, how's everyone doing? Um, it's Tuesday night, and I have a lot to do this week. Hello, welcome, welcome, thanks for joining. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, hi everyone. I'm doing this from my phone instead of from my computer, so it's going to be hard for me to see the comments, but I'm going to do my best to keep up with them. Mountain Dew? No, we're going to be doing a Dr. Pepper milkshake, and we're going to be making it live. You guys are going to help me out and help me make this. I'm going to give it a minute for some people to join in, because we just went live, and I didn't announce it ahead of time. This is kind of spontaneous, uh, even though I do this every Tuesday night around 6 p.m. It's a little late. It's about 6.05 now. Uh, you should make Dr. Pepper cake. That's a good suggestion. Uh, we'll probably do that sometimes. Hey, Byron, how are you doing? Uh, can you make a Pepsi milkshake? I could eventually. I don't have any Pepsi in the house. Hello, Ruben or Ruby. Sorry. Um, so we're going to be making this Dr. Pepper milkshake. I'm not going to do this live long. I'm probably only going to be on here about 20 minutes or so, maybe 30 minutes. I have a lot to do this week because I actually leave... For those of you who don't know, I leave for Ireland on Friday night, and I'll be in Ireland for a few days, and then I will be going, why am I on here? I don't know. Uh, so I will be, I'll be leaving Friday, which is just a couple days away, and I'll be going to Ireland for a few days. I'll be there for St. Patrick's Day. Have I ever made Mountain Dew waffles? I have, yes. Which McCall cake? That's just a great suggestion, and it is on my list. I want to make that because I love which McCall candies. Uh, so I'll be in Ireland for a few days, then I'm going to Scotland for a couple days, and then off to Amsterdam where I'll be at VidCon Aust or VidCon EU. Uh, I'll be there and then back home. <laughs> so hello, hey Ronnie, how are you? Or Oreo cake, or did you make that before? I made a giant Oreo cookie, not necessarily a giant or an Oreo cake. I have made an Oreo ice cream cake, which is really good. Uh, can you make something with payday bars? Oh, yeah. They're good, too. James, would you love to across the world and make no-bake Pepsi uh, cheesecake? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, James, could you say Ethan for President 2030? Well, you can't do no worse than some of the other ones. Um, let's see. So, we are going to get into this, and we're going to make a Dr. Pepper milkshake. Real Snickers, oh, Snickers doodle or real Snickers candy. That's great. Uh, one like, but I got to go by. Okay, no problem. Uh, you can always watch this on a replay. Hello. Hi, Bob. How are you? All right, so we gave it a few minutes for some people to join. Now we're going to get into making this milkshake. Now, I've never made a Dr. Pepper milkshake before, but you guys can help me out, right? <laughs> Always have such great videos. Oh, thank you. So I'm going to angle this down, and I'm using this from my my phone, not my computer. So we're going to try to work with this. You were third, like, notification squad. Awesome. I'm glad you hit the notification bell. That reminds me, uh, anyone who hasn't hit that notification bell, if you want to be notified when I put a new video out, hit that little bell notification because YouTube will not share my videos unless you hit that bell notification. So we need to do that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some ice cream. I don't know how ice cream and milk is going to interact with our Dr. Pepper, but what the heck, let's give it a shot. Let's do... Uh, We'll do like three scoops of ice cream. This is just regular vanilla ice cream. And uh, scoop that out there. How's everyone doing tonight? Is everyone having a good week so far? I know it's only Tuesday. I think three scoops is good. As I got ice cream all over my hands, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, everyone subscribe to Fun Foods. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Uh, Really good, probably gonna go get Dr. Pepper and make this right afterwards, awesome. We'll see how it goes first, right? It might it might not go over too well, I've never made this, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Uh, what do you say, we're gonna be mixing milk and soda, which is kind of weird for me, but we have ice cream in there, which is a milk product. But I'm gonna do about a half a cup of milk, I would say, because it is a milkshake. So here we go. 
Because if I didn't put the milk in there, it would just be like a, um, uh, what's it called? Um, root beer float. Thanks for asking. How's your day? My day's doing all right. Um, and I think I'll do about a cup of Dr. Pepper. Can't go wrong with that, right? So we'll do a cup of Dr. Pepper. And what do you guys think? Should I put ice cubes in here? Now, ice cubes will thicken it up. But I don't know whether I should do ice cubes or not. I think that's good. So up to you. Uh, tell me if you think I should do ice cubes from Pittsburgh, Kansas. Ah, oh, great. Thank you for watching my videos. Watch while you're doing geometry homework. Uh, it's been so long since I did geometry, ho geometry homework, um, I wouldn't be able to help you guys. <laughs> Uh, so this is the base. Uh, anything else I should put in there? Should I put ice cubes in there? It will thicken it up more if it's ice cubes, but it also ha uh, change the texture a little bit. A city in North Carolina got a trace of snow and they delayed schools three hours. I actually have a friend who is in North Carolina and I saw his Snapchat. And yeah, I saw the snow and I was laughing. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, what else should I put in here, guys? I, I could do anything. Food coloring. I can do ice cubes. I can do sprinkles. I don't know if you really should put sprinkles in a Dr. Pepper. Um, uh, who do you think is going to win March Madness? Oh, I don't know. I am so horrible at picking it. Whoever I pick, just pick the opposite. Do I have Snapchat? I do have Snapchat. It is Fun Foods YT. That is the username. Uh, and you can look at the description of this video or all my videos. And you can see all my social links and all of them are Fun Foods YT. Ice cubes, ice cubes. Okay, so we'll put some ice cubes in here. Hold on, let me grab some ice cubes. Here, I'm going to angle this up. There you go. So somebody just, there goes my phone. Hopefully I don't lose you guys while I put that back on there. <laughs> so, yep. Let me... Loosen that up so I can angle it up. Bubblegum flavoring, yes, Mavaldo. So I'm gonna put some ice cubes in here and uh... So I'm not putting many ice cubes in here, but just a few. It's gonna thicken up the milkshake and we are going to blend this up unless you guys want to add food color. Or does someone say food coloring or any other? Let's see, Dr. Pepper's awesome. What makes this good with Dr. Pepper? See, that's the question. Is that a milkshake? Is that milkshake healthy? No, it's not healthy. Uh, put food coloring. Okay, what we'll color though? What we'll color food coloring should I put in there? I mean, I have just about every color you can think of. No ice cubes, too late. <laughs> ice cubes, uh, um, the piece, the flavor, uh, cherry, uh, well, it has the flavor of Dr. Pepper in it, so the flavoring part were good, but someone said red, so red would be a good color. Red food coloring, another one. Uh, your first live stream, well, hello and welcome. Pink, pink is like red. <laughs> it's close. Food coloring, okay, so, so far it looks like red. <laughs> color it green, well, that would be close to St. Patrick's Day. We're getting close, and I'll be in Ireland for that. Uh, cherry. Yeah, cherry Dr. Pepper, that makes sense. We could do a little cherry in there, why not? Let's grab some cherry and maybe some red. All right, let's see. I have tons and tons of food coloring. And where is, I, I saw cherry not too long ago. I have, I have cherry flavoring, it's in here somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. cherry, here we go. So it'll be cherry Dr. Pepper, right? But I'm only gonna do a little bit, just a touch. It's like a mad scientist, we're making cherry Dr. Pepper. And, um, oh, we can do the red I have in here. Uh, let me grab something to pull it out. All right, so we got, uh, you should do orange. No, a little late, I think. Uh, you just finished shoveling snow. Oh, no. So I'm just going to put a little bit of red in here. Not much. Just going to put it in there. Throw this away. So 
All right, I think that's pretty good. Unless y'all want to add something else, I don't know what else we can add. Top with whipped cream. Oh, we will top it with whipped cream for sure. Anything else we should top it with? <laughs> so here we go. Let me put this on here. And that way we can blend this up. Blue, too late. Brown, brown would make more sense, I think. Uh, let me make sure I put my top on. Got to have that top on there. Okay, it might get loud just for a second. Um, so if you have your buds in, you may want to remove them. But I'm just going to blend this up real quick. I think it's pretty good. It's not very thick, but I didn't put a whole lot of ice cream in there, so... Uh, put a cherry on top. I have, I have maraschino cherries, so I could do that. I still have to get a glass. I, here, let me angle this up so we can talk to you guys. I know you're just looking at my hand right now. That's, hello. So we just made our Dr. Pepper milkshake, and you guys helped me out, but I'm going to pour it in a glass. So let me see if I can find, hmm, I could do, huh. Ah. This kind of glass should do. Now, I should have it in like a frosted, I should have had it in their freezer. You like my food? Awesome. <laughs> cool whip. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to pour this in here. And um, yeah, it's not very thick because I didn't put a whole lot of ice cream in there. But we'll still try it out. I got to put some whipped cream on it, right? Let me get some whipped cream. Whipped cream and a cherry for the top, right? Uh, what food coloring? I used a gel-based food coloring for that. Um, hmm, let's see. And I'll angle it back down for the... Let's do this. So here we go. So now we can, and because you all want a cherry on top, right? Got to have the cherry on top. Now I'm just going to use a toothpick to pull one out. There we go. Mm, looks good. I have to get a picture of that, right? I have to get a picture. Oh, what kind of straw should we put on here? Um, we should definitely, we have a choice of, we have blue, pink, or it's like a orange is brown. Y'all's choice. Let me know. I got to get a couple pictures of this. You know what? Let me move this like this. <laughs> uh, red, blue, pink. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of choices. I need blue, another blue. What's some, what's other choice? Pink, red. <laughs> so pink, red. There's a couple blues in there. Top with hot dog bite size. Uh, Orange brown, orange brown, red, mm, blue. There's a lot of choices. I don't know what to choose from. Blue, oh, red. So many. What do I do? So close. Uh, they're all pretty close. Orange, yeah, so. Oh, so many choices. Hot fudge sauce topping. Let's see, you know what? Who says we have to just pick one straw, right? So I'm going to put this one in. For sure and uh, there's a lot of blue pink is best oh I don't know which one should I do we can have two straws right why not let me wash my hands for a minute. Yep. 
I gotta get a picture of this. And since my phone is right there, I can't use my phone to take a picture, so hold on one second. So we're going to have to get a picture with this and uh, just have to move things around a little bit and get a better angle. So I have to get a picture from my Instagram, of course, right? Make sure you're following me on Instagram, of course, at FunFoodsYT. Yeah. Uh, chat, what's the worst injury you've ever had? Ooh, I've had a really bad injury before. Let me angle this back up. Um, so, so the question was, what is the worst injury I've ever had? Well, I've actually shattered my left, it's the small bone in my leg, the fibula, fibula. Um, I shattered it. I had to actually have metal plate put in my leg and that was the worst injury when I was young um, About two years ago. I injured my back and that's really bad. I had to have surgery for that as well And that's pretty bad, too. So there it's kind of a mix between those two um, The leg one it was really bad at the moment but it healed and I was young and I was 17 at the time. I was playing sports and that one healed. So long-term effects, it's not as bad, but the back one, um, it healed only a certain degree. It's never gonna be the way it was before the injury. So I would say that's the worst long-term. Long -term. So yeah, there's a lot of things I can't do because of the back injury, but um, you know, you just have to move on. and and do things I can still cook so that's good cook bake and all that fun stuff <laughs> do you think you can figure out how to make Swedish fish Swedish fish sounds like fun I don't know I've never made them I know what they look like and taste like I've had them myself um, but I may have to try that sometimes so all right so let me get another picture or two of this so just snapping a couple pictures uh, Will you please shout me out, Donut Man 78 There you go, there's your shout out. <laughs> so. There you go, got a couple of good pictures. Uh, you think Rocky Road Cheesecake, that, that sounds amazing to me, Rocky Road Cheesecake. See, y'all come up with some really good ideas. What do you say we try this out? Uh, we gotta try out our our Dr. Pepper milkshake and see how it tastes. I'm not, I'm not very uh, hopeful on how it tastes, but we'll see. Actually, it tastes a lot of the cherry because we did put that cherry flavor in there. Um, I do taste a lot of the cherry. It's almost like a cherry milk, if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, because we didn't make it too thick with the ice cream you love to make that milkshake. It, it is good, I, I have to admit, it's good. And of course, the cherry. Mm. Love cherries. It's not bad. I wish I put more ice cream in it and maybe more ice. Have you tried Emberry tablets? I don't know what that is. Uh, make an actual cookies and cream bar. It's a good suggestion. Hello, Mr. Action Figure. Uh, you love, oh, they say you cherries? Yes. Man, that was hard to make. <laughs> yeah, you just got a notification. Yeah, it was quick, it doesn't take long to make. You can always watch this after, um, on the replay. It's pretty simple, we just had fun with it, made something, you guys helped me out a lot. We even put, like, not only Dr. Pepper, but we also put cherries in it if you came on late. Cherry flavor. Um, I should have put cherries in it too. That would have been good too. Blend them up in there. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you so much. Well, I really appreciate that. Snickerdoodles with real Snickers bar. I saw that comment earlier. Yes, um, definitely. That sounds like fun. There's so many great suggestions, and I have so many I have to do when I get back. 
because I'm traveling this Friday, I leave out to go to Ireland first, then Scotland, and then Amsterdam for VidCon, all, VidCon Europe. Make a banana split. Oh, I love banana splits. <laughs> I love ice cream in general. That's why I make a lot of milkshakes, I guess. So, yeah. So that's where I'll be. I'll be in Europe. Uh, do you know the game Fortnite? I, I do know of it. I don't play it, but I do know of it. I hear it's very addictive. <laughs> How it goes well. Hope it goes well. Uh, will you be live video next Tuesday? That is up for debate. I'm, I'm going to try to live video next Tuesday. Um, it's possible I will. I, I might not. It depends on the Wi-Fi. Um, I'm going to be in between traveling between uh, Ireland and Scotland. And the time may be off. Um, I don't know. We're going to see. I'll try to do it. If I do it, it'll be from Scotland. Um, but it, it all depends. I might, might not. Um, if I don't do it next week, don't worry. I'll be back at it the week after. You're my favorite food content YouTuber. Well, thank you so much, Ronnie. I appreciate that. James has the... Uh, I missed that last comment. I went too fast. Have you ever made cookies and cream pancakes? I have not. Uh, sounds amazing. I did make Oreo pancakes, though. Oreo cookie pancakes. Uh, so that's close to cookies and cream. Um, it's very, very close. Uh, is that milkshake nice? It looks great. It is. It, it surprised me. I thought it would, wouldn't taste that good with the Dr. Pepper mixing with milk. Uh, you don't really think it would do well, um, but it did. It did. Uh, my favorite college basketball team, um, I have to go with Maryland Terps just because, you know, I'm from there. I went to school at University of Maryland. That 19 sells them? I don't know. Oh, Ronnie. Hey, thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. So, super chat. Awesome. So, thanks, Ronnie. Ronnie's a great guy. Part of my straw is coming apart. That's the only problem. These, these straws are very decorative, but they're actually paper. They're not like the plastic straws. So, you know, if they're left in the ice cream too long, they will deteriorate and you're almost like tasting like paper. Mr. Action Figure gives applause. <laughs> I haven't drank it from the pink straw yet. Yeah, check out Ronnie. He's a good guy. Um, Cause I know I follow him on Twitter and stuff. He's a really nice guy. Have I thought of making a recipe book? That's a very good question. I actually started writing a recipe book, but I want to do something a little different. I want, you know, there's all kinds of recipe books out there, and, you know, I kind of want something totally different, like just something fun. Not like, you know, because you can find most of my recipes right here on YouTube. So if you really want the recipe, you can see it on here. But I really want the recipe book to be fun. It would have recipes in it, but I'm thinking not just my recipes, but maybe recipes from friends of mine, other YouTubers. And just as a way to kind of expose you to them and, you know, the things that they make. And they may not even be other, like, food channel YouTubers, just maybe something they, they like, their favorite recipes. So, oh, thanks. I appreciate that, Creative Paradise. Uh, so that is something I'm thinking about doing. Um, and I have about half of my my own uh, cookbook like written out on my computer but I'm kind of like mixed on how I want to do it so uh, you should do gadget testing videos you know I, I thought about that and I've done like different like reviews and stuff of like different um, like blenders or food processors and stuff that I use and I might do some more of that stuff so Ronnie said, oh, you advise, yeah, great. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about doing it. I just I just want it to be fun. Maybe like, you know, stories about me, maybe what got me into, you know, YouTube and little things like that on there. And then also recipes as well, of course. Uh, maybe a few recipes I haven't put on YouTube yet. Do you have any collabs with other YouTubers coming up? Yes, I do. And actually, they're one of the per people I have a collab coming up with was in this chat earlier. I don't know if he's still on here. Um, he's going to be at VidCon EU, and this will be the first time we meet. 
So we're going to do a collab when we're over there. And he has a travel channel and, um, you know, and I love travel. And we're going to do a collab over there uh, when we're over there in Amsterdam. Uh, I also have a couple other YouTubers I'm going to do collabs with. Um, um, uh, the Shooligans, also called the Hooligans. Uh, they are in Ireland. That's where I'm going to see first. Uh, where, these comments go so fast. One of the tech gadgets made your giant Reese's Cup. Oh, awesome. Yeah, the giant Reese's Cup is it was such a fun video to make. And that was so early on. I didn't know what I was doing when I first started making uh, YouTube videos. And I was just playing around, just making stuff that I like to make. It was just fun. And so I made that video. And I look back at it, and I can cringe because of how bad I sounded during the video. But, you know, hey, it was fun. Do an autobiography inside your cookbook. Yeah, see, that's a good, that's a good way of doing it. James and recipes. Yeah, random recipes by James. Yeah, that's see, that's you You guys are very creative. I love you guys. Uh, you've watched you since ten thousand subs. Awesome, Ben James. You're awesome. I'm glad you stuck around. I I just love making videos, YouTube videos. I love uh, the the people who watch my videos because you guys are awesome, and you come up with such great suggestions. And I wish I could make every single suggestion that you make, but. There's only so many hours in the day, and I do this by myself. I don't have a team of people. Uh, I know, like, some of the bigger YouTubers, uh, they have teams of people who, you know, they help them film and edit and all that stuff. Uh, by the way, yeah, Ronnie's channel uh, it focuses on disabilities. Ronnie has a disability, and uh, just to let you know, uh, you can check out his channel. He talks about things on his channel about disabilities and how living with disabilities. So go check out Ronnie if you get a chance. He's a nice guy, and, you know, follow him. I'm sure you'll love his stuff. Um, but, yeah, you guys are amazing. You come up with such great things, and I do this, like I said, all by myself. And, you know, I film, I edit, I shoot, I share it on, you know, Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. And, you know, it, it really helps me that you guys come up with some of this content and give me suggestions because sometimes I just have a blank and I'm like, what am I going to make this week? I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, what can I possibly make? And you added me on Snapchat. Well, thank you for adding me. Uh, of course, I'm using my phone right now, so I'll see it after the broadcast is over. Uh, when do you stream normally? Normally I stream Tuesday nights around 6 p.m. on the Eastern, Eastern, East Coast, U.S. And that's what, it's uh, 6.30 right now. Uh, so I was a little late today, I was about five minutes late or so. Oh, thank you, uh, Miss Liam, 13, thank you. Uh, so normally around Tuesday, but next Tuesday I may not stream at 6 p.m. I may not stream at all. It all depends on Wi-Fi, it depends on everything because I'll be traveling. I'll be between Ireland and Scotland next Tuesday at this time. So, um, yeah. What is the scariest thing about cooking for your channel? Um, scariest thing? I don't know. Um, I don't know about scariest thing. There's times when I don't want to let people down by not having a video come out. And there's been times when I had to get, um, I had to get to the last like right to last minute and upload a video and I really want I want to stay consistent I want every Sunday I want a video to come out for you guys um, that's the main day uh, and then Saturdays I typically do like um, I typically do like Mountain Dew videos and I don't know if I'll have a Mountain Dew video this week but I will have a Sunday video come out somehow some way I had a video fail on me yesterday I tried to make it and um, that's what I plan to go out for this Sunday. I think I'll make it again either when this broadcast ends or tomorrow and try to make this. The Fortnite YouTube uh, might get right. Uh, diabetics always miss out on the fun things. Uh, yeah, diabetic. Uh, do you have kids? I do not have kids. Nope, I have nieces and nephews. Uh, Kinder Bruno Milkshake. Oh, yeah, like uh, like a Kinder Egg type of thing. Is that what you're talking about? That kind of milkshake? Um, one video should do a blooper reel. You know, that's a very good suggestion. And the problem with my blooper reels, uh, to be completely honest with you, if I do a blooper reel, it would take a lot of bleeping. Um, because as you know, I do a lot. I do family-friendly content here. I never have anything where I cuss or say anything bad. 
Um, but my bloopers, however, <laughs> I have to cut out a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so, meh. Yeah. Some of it's okay, it's funny. Um, I try to include that stuff sometimes. Uh, it just depends on how quick I am at editing, how, how fast, how much of a hurry I'm in. But yeah, my blooper reel would be funny, um, but it would have to go on a different channel for sure. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, the video with making hotel room tacos. Oh, that was so much fun with, um, and funny story with that. I made that last uh, summer with RKVC, my friends RKVC, they're musicians. We made tacos in our hotel room at VidCon in California. And those guys, Rob and Vince from RKVC, was, they were actually at the Oscars about a week and a half ago or what, almost two weeks ago now. About a week, a little over a week ago, the Oscars. They were in that movie theater right next to the Oscars when Jimmy Kimmel came over. And so I was really happy for them. They got to experience all that. And it was a lot of fun for them. And, you know, it was pretty awesome. They got to meet Jimmy Kimmel and all the other uh, actors and stuff. Have you ever burned yourself during a video? Yes, I have. Um, I burn myself quite often. Uh, when you're in the kitchen and you're cooking and, uh, you, you know, even though I take precautions, I do burn myself. Sometimes it's minor. It's just little minor things. Um, but, yeah, I do. Hey, Joseph, how are you? Uh, how are you doing, buddy? Joseph, longtime viewer. I know Joseph pretty good. He has a channel as well. Go check him out. Well, that's good. Yep. So, um, we made, actually it's a half drunk, uh, milkshake right now. It's a Dr. Pepper milkshake. For those of you who joined late, Fortnite YouTube, uh, my right channel, 100K everyone <laughs> type in chat. Um, so we made this Dr. Pepper milkshake. Oh, you're doing good. Awesome. Have you ever made bacon pancakes? I have made that. Um, they were, I did it two different ways. I did it with like a whole strip of bacon in there and I did it with just crumbled up bacon inside the pancakes. But this Dr. Pepper milkshake, it was good. We even put cherry in there with flavoring too. Yeah. Oh, so Miss Liam. Yep, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, they're so good. Can you make a big chocolate bar, please? Oh, see, that's a good suggestion. I have made a Kit Kat bar before, but I haven't made a giant, like a giant Kit Kat bar, like about that big, but I haven't made just a giant chocolate bar. So that's something that I could do, definitely. Definitely. So we are gonna be winding this chat down. Do you watch the Goldbergs? They have, <laughs> they do the same thing. The Goldbergs, like um, on TV, the Goldbergs, I watched that that TV show. Will you make Mountain Dew apple dumplings? Good one. Do you accept fan mail? I do accept fan mail. Um, you'll see, if you look in my description, I haven't put it in this video yet, but in all my other videos, I have a P.O. box. And any fan mail you can send to the P.O. box, and I usually check it at least once a week or so. And, of course, I'll check it more often if I knew something was coming. But, absolutely. Giant Twix Bar is another good one. Someone also earlier suggested uh, another video. Uh, thank you, um, Brianna, I believe. Um, someone also, Mount Dew Milkshake. I have made that. <laughs> thank you. Um, someone suggested a Giant Snickers Bar, which is good because I really want to do that. I made a Snickers ice cream cake before, so I'll just make a Giant Snickers Bar. Giant Tide Pods. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to encourage anyone to try to eat anything like that. Mm. Mm. Do I have funny cooking disaster stories? I do, but one of them's really bad, so I can't even tell it on here. It was really bad. Something didn't look right. Let's put it that way. What happened to your app setup? Um, the You mean like my live thing? I'm doing this totally on my phone today, not the way I normally do it. So things are a little odd because it was last minute thing. I just kind of threw it together. Um, I wanted to make sure I did this live because next week I'll be traveling. And I didn't want to miss out because there's a possibility I'll miss out in my live next week. So I just wanted to make sure I got this live in as well. 
what is your favorite food? I love Italian food when it comes to like regular food, but I also love like when it comes to desserts, I love chocolate. And of course I love peanut butter as well. So chocolate peanut butter like Reese's or anything like that. So absolutely love that. Uh, you should try to make a mini canal cake. Like, um, hmm, I don't know, mini canal, like a cannoli. Huh. What's my favorite candy? Uh, it would have to be like Reese's or, you know, uh, so Reese's is pretty good. Italian pizza, you should try to make that. Like just a, a regular pizza. Uh, how about Easter themed treats? I have made Easter themed treats before a long time ago and um, you know but I haven't done it the last couple of years I just uh, the reason why is they sort of they get the views right away and it's fun but then uh, then no one watches them for a whole year I, I kind of like to make stuff that people can watch for a long period of time and do I still vlog uh, I vlog when I travel and so I'll be traveling starting Friday so I'll vlog and I'll probably put vlogs up on Thursday nights Oh, Cadbury milkshake. That's a good one. And I actually have Cadbury eggs. <laughs> so, uh, so I vlog when I travel. So you'll see some vlogs coming out. And I'll typically put those out on Thursday nights is what I'll do. So you'll know when Thursday night, if I put a video out, most likely it's a vlog video. Try making homemade filled chocolate eggs. So that's a good one. Butterfinger milkshake. Yes. I love Butterfingers. They're, they're good too. I love so many different candies. Oh, so you love the Italian food as well. Also, I'm a uh, I will say your name right for sure when, when I get there. You have to tell me exactly how to say your name when we get to, uh, when I get to VidCon. Uh, Cadbury eggs, Mountain Dew cream. Can you make uh, dog biscuits with peanut butter, banana, also coconut? See, that's good. I want to make something for dogs. I think that would be really cool because I love animals. My father has a dog. He has a little pug. And in fact, last week, he, you know, the little pug helped me out. <laughs> And the thing we made on our live stream. So it was a lot of fun. Can you do a remix of famous? Oh, I missed the rest of that. Uh, chocolate dog treats. Uh, you shouldn't do chocolate to dogs. I know that. Um, well, nice seeing you. Walnut banana. That's good. Deep fried bananas. See, that's good. I did deep fried ice cream before, but I've never done deep fried bananas. It will kill. That's right. Chocolate is not good for dogs. So we don't want to do that. So I love animals, and I love dogs, I don't want to do anything to hurt them. So peanut butter is fine, but chocolate is a no-no. <laughs> so we don't want to do anything like that. Uh, coffee recipe. I, I typically don't drink coffee, so I don't have many like recipes for coffee type. I did make like some different frappuccinos and stuff. Uh, chili malt chocolate cake. Oh, uh, chilies malt chocolate cake. Deep fried candy bars. I have done both Oreo cookie deep fried and Kit Kats deep fried. Make coffee ice cream. Say so that's good. Oh, Jelly Ducky. Hi there. Great to see you too, Jelly Ducky. Uh, make Homer Simpson dream waffles. See, that's good. Great suggestions. You guys are awesome. Avocado dog treats with the, with the pits. I don't, see, I don't know whether that would be good or not. I see, I don't know enough about whether dog, what dogs can eat or not. I know they can't have chocolate. I know that. Hey, uh, Sequil Rochester, I believe. I hope I'm saying your name right. Sorry if I'm not. Uh, fried alligator on a stick. I've never had that. <laughs> Sounds interesting. So guys, we're gonna cut this off another two minutes or so. No onions or grapes for dogs either. Okay, no onions or grapes, good to know. See, I would definitely do some research before I do a dog treat thing, because I, I wouldn't wanna do anything that would hurt any dogs, so I wouldn't wanna do that. So I definitely do research. I know peanut butter is a good thing they can have, but uh, I would definitely do a lot of research before I make anything dog treats. Deep fried butter on a stick, part two, yes. Deep fry, uh, you're getting hungry, just had a late lunch. Chick-fil-A is good, I like that. Uh, fried tortellini, that sounds appealing. I'm still gonna have another drink of my little uh, Dr. Pepper milkshake we made earlier. It's actually cherry Dr. Pepper. Grandmother makes peanut butter banana dog biscuits. See, that sounds good, it sounds like something I would like to eat, not just the dog, right? 
Is that why you do it? So you can eat some too? <laughs> mm. It's good you had it before. Yeah, you have to try it, right? <laughs> S'mores milkshake is good. Mountain Dew Mochi, uh, Machi Cream Ice Cream. That's good. So guys, we're going to end this, but I want to thank you guys all for coming on and seeing how to make the Dr. Pepper milkshake and giant cookie. Yes. Uh, so thank you guys so much. You all helped out so much by telling me what goes in it and picking everything out. And thank you guys. I'll try to do a live stream next week. I will be traveling. Uh, awesome, Ronnie. Great seeing you. Um, but I'm going to head out and I hope you all have a good week. I will see you guys soon. Keep checking back. Uh, there'll probably be more videos up definitely on Sunday. Um, but next week there'll probably be quite a few videos because I'll be traveling and vlogging. And follow my Snapchat at FunFoodsYT. You'll see a lot there as well. Hope to see you guys soon. And I make sure you hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and see you soon.